Hey ho, warrior! Hey ho, warrior! Hello, everyone! My name is Chief Lance, and it's time to gobble! Get off my land! I have for you guys some Modern Warfare 3 gameplay? Question mark? Yes, I do! I have a Moab gameplay for you guys. It's not the best Moab out there. I almost went flawless, and then I made a mistake, and then I spawned and got knife again, if I remember correctly. But without further ado, here's the gameplay. I hope you guys enjoy, but. Chief, you might be asking, well, when's the last time you uploaded Call of Duty, Chief? And, uh, last week I uploaded uh, Call of Duty. It was Black Ops, a game mode that I absolutely enjoyed. Wager Match, if you haven't seen it, go ahead and check it out. I love wage. I love me some Wager Match, and I'm, if I don't, don't say so to so myself, I've been told I've been, I'm pretty beast at Wager Match, in particular Sticks and Stones. I remember playing with Eric the Aviator. God, that was pretty much... Well, a whole year ago, it's been amazing since this whole YouTube journey, and, um, yeah. But a year ago, I was playing Sticks and Stones, met up with, uh, Eric the Aviator and some other YouTubers, and I, um, I made him rage so hard because I was doing great at Wager Match. I was doing what I normally do, and after his completely justified rage subsided, I asked if I could upload that gameplay, and he said, Go ahead, Chief, go ahead and upload it, and... Pretty much, that's how I became friends with Eric the Aviator. I made him rage so hard that he asked me to leave the lobby. <laughs> kind of funny when you think about that. But and then our relationship blossomed since then. But that's I love that game mode, and that's what I love to play, so I posted it. I posted what I love. So getting back to that, posting what I love. What I've been posting? Halo content. And that's what I truly love, because I don't get tired of playing Halo. I don't get bored. I don't get frustrated. I enjoy the game. I generally feel more happy playing it than Modern Warfare 3. Reason why? Well, I probably shouldn't have bought Modern Warfare 3. When I'm looking back at it now, I am um, looking back at the original, you know, the history of Call of Duty we got uh, from what I owned. Call of Duty 4, I really enjoyed. So then uh, we moved on over to World of War. Loved it. Fell in love with Treyarch instantly. Love World at War. Move on to Modern Warfare 2. I, since I love Call of Duty 4, I thought I'd get Modern Warfare 2. In the end, I didn't enjoy Modern Warfare 2 as much. I absolutely, I actually hated it at the time. I despised playing Modern Warfare 2, but I only played it because my friends were still playing it. Then Black Ops came along, loved it. Still loved Treyarch. So what happens now with Modern Warfare 3? I gave him a second chance. Only because I heard that they weren't the sole um, developer behind it. Infinity Ward was not the sole developer behind it. Raven Software and Sledgehammer Games. So I gave him a second chance. And in the end, it's not the best. I think it's definitely improving from Modern Warfare 2. But, in the end, it's only fun once in a while. It's not this always enjoyable experience. And, uh, you know, you can say, well, that's, you know, tough titties there, Chief. <laughs> not every game's gonna go your way. Hey, I completely understand that. But when a game goes so bad that people exploit every flaw to get that one more glorious kill, and it's not entertaining when they exploit the game for that. And that's not fun to play. And then there comes the whole issue of YouTubers stressing themselves over Modern Warfare 3 and forcing themselves not to enjoy it because how many times do you say oh I gotta get gameplays in my head I do not play for gameplays I play to try and enjoy the game as much as possible and when I enjoy the game is when I'm doing well and then I probably will share that gameplay on YouTube that's what I do if I get a Moab I happen to get a Moab but I've seen so many people saying that they're quitting Call of Duty they're quitting YouTube and they're going as far as never playing Call of Duty ever again and I shake my head because they blame the community, when in the end, they themselves are are to blame for this. They created the community on how it is right now. When you look at it, they 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 push themselves to the limit to creating stuff that's almost un they're, they're almost unable to duplicate it again without stressing themselves again. They're creating this amazing content, and it's a stress load for themselves. And what does the, the viewers want? They want more. You feed them once, and they want more. So that's that. What's this mean to me now? Well, I want to continue doing what I love. And what I love has been rewarding me more than Call of Duty. I have so many YouTubers have said, if you want to be successful, be yourself, love what you're doing, be original, and do something different. What was I doing? I started my YouTube channel off of Call of Duty. Something not original. What was I doing? I was just doing straightforward gameplay commentaries with different topics and different graphical flares and stuff that I created myself. That's not really different in the end. And at the beginning, I thought I was being different. I thought I was a different personality. Sure, I am a different personality, but I'm, in the end, 
It's Modern Warfare 3, it's Call of Duty in the background. No different from anybody else other than the skill level of gameplay. So, Halo has provided something that Call of Duty never has for me YouTube-wise. I'm loving what I'm playing, it's been more rewarding, and it's providing more opportunities. I was the first Yosh Reloaded director to bring Halo content to Yosh Reloaded. That's a huge title, that's a huge thing to achieve, to be that one person. Because when you think about it, I'm not, I may be in the wrong on this, but there aren't too many big name Halo commentators out there like that you can compare to the level of scene anners, you know, subscriber wise, big channels. You don't really see them out there other than possible MLG players, which in the end sometimes aren't the best commentators. They're the best, some of the best players, but not the best commentators in the end sometimes. So this has Halo stuff, doing what I love, has provided endless opportunities and I'd be a fool not to capitalize on this. So I want to thank you guys for the support over the while of me posting Halo, uh, mostly Halo content. What does this mean for my channel? It's going to be primarily Halo, uh, probably from here on out, depending on the outcome of Halo 4, Black Ops 2, and Assassin's Creed 3. Those are probably the three games that I do have plans to upload to my channel, primarily Halo 4, and some Call of Duty Black Ops 2 as well. So I apologize if you really don't like Halo. This is... I'm just going to do what I enjoy. And your guys' support has been amazing for these all these Halo videos. And I can't thank you guys enough. I'm at a loss for words right now. I just can't say anything else but thank you. So I'm going to end the video now. My name is Chief Landless. And I'm signing out. And I hope to see you guys next time.